Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Welcome back to Look How I Do Things, and I'm just now, of course, today getting back to getting finally, finally the secret banner. I decided to go all out. I even dressed as the Banana Man. I went with the Glider, the Lollipopper. The Night Cloak kind of looks like part of appeal, so I figured I would go with that. I was trying to figure out what would look good with Banana Man here and the Lightning, because, you know banana is super banana so that's kind of the theme I was going with but you know I, I didn't I didn't know what else to do but I figured I'd go all out for it so I figured I'd show you guys where the banner is in case you guys didn't get to finally get it now as you can see behind him there at that little I, I don't know if you want to call it tower stack whatever with the torch just behind that first line of bananas you can see the banner right there and that is King Banana right there. But, you know, the, the challenges, they finally fixed the challenges about the outliving. Yesterday around 6, 7 o'clock at night my time. So I just went ahead and I did them. I found another treasure map, thankfully, <clears throat> off camera as well. So I just went ahead and I got all that done and did it. And, you know, figured I'd just do this really quick video. I've also got a theory about something at the end. So I hope you guys can enjoy that. And yes, this this is solid gold that I I mean, why wouldn't you go into solid gold with with a banana? I mean, again, I I know it horrified me when I first laid eyes on the banana, but I don't know, I don't know. It's it's fun and they're highly noticeable, kind of like how the prisoner skin is highly noticeable because of the bright orange going on. But I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys where it is. That way we can go ahead and continue on to the next week after this one. And I kind of made a mistake when I first flew in. This looks so ridiculous because I, I just have all food-related items. If I had a more food-related back bling, I, I'd totally wear that. But I just, I saw that and I'm like, that looks exactly like a banana peel. For some reason in my brain, I thought it was this one right here that I'm running towards right now. And again, as you can tell, you know, this was what I recorded last night, but I am voicing over for today. I know I point that out all the time, but that's just, I, I feel I need to. But there it is, the Banana Man loading screen there by the volcano. Now my theory, because this video is going to clip out here in just a moment, my theory is, if you didn't notice, I'm about to show you, is the banana that's sitting in that chair is the exact kind of chair over there in Polar, and you can kind of see the symbol back there is different. So I went in my next round and I noticed the same symbol, that's the banana sitting there, that is like the banana peel whatever, or the banana head, however you want to say that. That's another angle of also, again, the same. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out these symbols because they played a really important part with the prisoner. And that is the prisoner, of course, because that is the little, like, fire or flame. And as we know, he was betrayed. The chair was flipped over to represent that, so forth, so forth. I don't know what this symbol is. It kind of looks like snakes, which reminds me of Sidewinder. So I'm wondering if maybe she was in ruling... I don't know what this symbol is for. I don't know if that is water or bridge or what that would be, but it kind of seems almost like a, um, almost like water for the Pirate King. So you guys tell me your theories, what you think, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay awesome. I'll see you later, folks. Bye bye.